What's up guys? How you all doing? Remember a while back we set up a whole bunch of beehives. 11 to be exact. Well, I've been on vacation. I kind of came back a little late. Some of the beehives are very, very full. So I'm going to do a beehive inspection and also I want to make sure that they are not making queen cells because if there's queen cells, we're going to have to split the beehive. Also, I want to see if there's lots of eggs, lots of brood and the beehive is doing good. Well, let's open up a beehive and see what's inside. It's perfect cloudy day. This was a nuke, so I installed five frames with already brood and stuff of bees. Watch the last video, I'll put links in the description how I installed them. Well, it's been two weeks and look at this. This beehive is full, they definitely need a new box on top of it because usually if you see one, two, three, four, five or six frames drawn out full of bees, you can put another box. But I'm kind of late a little bit. As you can see, it's full of bees. So they're getting definitely a little crowded, that's for sure. So let me take a frame out and let's see how they're doing. Boom, check this out. Fully filled in with pollen, looking for mites on them. Looking good. Okay, I don't see any queen cells yet, so that's good. Wow, look at that. There is brood, there's eggs. That's what we want to see. Very nice. Let me show you closer. Inside of those cells, there's little eggs and little larvae in there. And all this inside there, those are new comb, and you can see little eggs inside there. That's perfect, that's what we want to see. Again, I don't see no queen cells on this side. Oh no, I do not want to hear that. I hope it does not rain. Let me show you something really cool. Look over here. There's a bee hatching out. Right in the middle of you, right here. It's eating itself. It's eating all the comb out and about to hatch out. You see those bees right there? Right in the middle of the camera. You see how it's eating the comb out? And that's how they're going to come out of the self and gonna do its things. Yeah. It might rain, so I'm gonna go through them really quickly. Mm -hmm. Again, looking for the queen cell. I don't see any queen cell. Looks like there's plenty of space for her to lay as well. There's a lot of bees hatched out. But I better add on a box because they might run out of space. Not the best laying part on. That's like a chicken boarding or whatever you call it. So that queen is not the best, but we'll see. I think they just recently hatched out as well. All these bees. It's just full of bees. This is nice. This is very heavy box as well. Look at that. Yep. I think it's used to be full of brood and most of the bees just hatched out. This looks nice. And I don't see any queen cells, so I don't have to worry about them getting split. One more frame right here. Looking good. Looking good. Oh! Right here, there might be a queen. You see, right here, this is a queen cub. So right here, a queen cub. They might split. So I'm gonna check if there's an egg. If it's not, I'm gonna keep it like that. And I'm just gonna add another box. So now I'll just add a second box and they're all set. It is very, very big beehive. That's really good. This is what happens when they don't have enough space, but looks like they're going back in like crazy. Check this out. They're just storming back inside. It's nice. They just did not mm -hmm. have enough space, that's for sure. Should have put a second box about five days ago. 
and that's what I'm gonna do to the rest of them check every frame for the queen cells and if I don't see any then I'll just add a second box if I do then I'll show it to you how to split them so that they, they don't swarm so guys this beehive I don't see any eggs and also I don't see any queen cells and this one was out of the package so looks like they didn't accept the queen or something happened to the queen this is why I don't really like as much getting bees from a package because you see I don't see any eggs whatsoever and there's still a lot of bees they're just queenless so what I'm gonna do is take one frame out of other beehive these cells and let them make a queen out of it so that way this beehive is going to survive because there's lots of lots of bees it looked like there was a lot of bees but there's no eggs so this is why you have to do the bee inspection as you can see right here I installed the queen two weeks ago the queen come out from here now let's see if there's any eggs inside of this beehive this is new comb, honey, that's a big cell right here, wow, this is nice, but again, I do not see any eggs, that's not good, oh there you go, there's some eggs right here, looking good, and there's lots of lots of eggs, this is what you want to see inside of a beehive, lots of pollen over here, lots of egg there's a drone and lots of lots of eggs right here this is what you want to see and I, I guarantee you the rest of the boxes are like this so something happened to this beehive and we need to fix it this is why you don't assume if you open up a box you don't assume oh there's lots of bees this beehive looking good now I know this beehive might split soon so I'm gonna open this up and steal a frame from here. Look how heavy that beehive is. I bet there's a queen cell in there anyways. So what I'm gonna do is open it up and check it out. See what they got. I wanna have actual eggs, not already cupped off bees, because that's not going to work. Or a queen even better. So hopefully they actually have a queen cup or something like that so we can split them I see a lot of dawn over here this might be a queen cup right here the tall one but oh there you go this is the frame I'm going to take you see right here this is the queen because this beehive is eight frame they need a lot more space a long time ago a lot longer this is a queen right here so I'm going to take this frame so now we have here a queen and lots of lots of drone on this frame so we're going to put this frame into this queenless beehive queenless because I do not see any eggs so I know 100% there is no queen at all so now there's still plenty of bees now this beehive is gonna be just fine starting to rain so looks like I have to call it quits but at least I have found that there is one beehive the queen went bad and I actually saved this beehive this beehive actually have more queen cells so I have to split it again before they swarm so we did an inspection of this beehive and it still have another queen cell inside there so what we're going to do is actually split this beehive as well this is an 8 frame beehive it wanted to split a lot sooner so what I'm gonna do when I split a beehive I'm gonna make sure there's no queen here so first thing what I wanna do is find the queen oh look at that there is another queen cell this beehive is splitting a lot so I'm gonna put the queen in here boom so I can stick him in here okay looking for the queen yep there's another queen cub 
so we can split this hive a lot of times look at all these queen cubs on this side I'm gonna leave one for them and in case the original queen have left okay looking for the queen I don't see the queen but there is a lot of brood and a lot of dawn brood so what I'm mm -hmm. gonna do is I'm going to stick it in here give them a lot of brood as well wow look at this they're about to hatch out again so as soon as we split them they're going to multiply like crazy in size once again looking for the queen and look at that over there on the side there is another queen cub you know what I'll leave this frame down here this is why I don't like 8 frame beehives you gotta make sure you add another frame of bees because if you forget and you are too late then guess what they're going to split many many times hopefully just one time but they can split two or three times and then your beehive is gonna get weakened once again looking for the queen I don't see the queen so I'm just gonna stick them in here now I'm just gonna put everything together like this and fill up with empty frames and now they're going to have a lot more space and they can start building up again and now I have an extra hive hive like that costs about $150 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see, eight frames. And now because there's plenty of empty frames, now I can just close them up and I don't have to add another box till later. We have another beehive. In 10 days, I'm gonna come back and inspect them and see if the queen have emerged and start laying eggs. If not, I might even combine them back together. Well guys, this is why you want to inspect your bees. I was on vacation, so I should have came back not 14 days later, but about 10 days after I installed all the bees. And if needed, I would have added a second box for all of them. But all these bees exploded in population, so they really needed a second box almost just after a week. So that's really good still really happy that i caught one beehive without a queen so it's okay that this beehive had extra queens so i can steal one from here and give it to the other beehive that is queenless and also i had to split this beehive so now hopefully they're gonna keep doing stone in this nice warm weather and everything blooming like crazy so i'm going to have an extra beehive and if they swarm it's okay there's more bees around my area so I'm not too afraid of that if they swarm. Also, I have a bunch of swarm traps. I might even catch my own swarm. Anyways, guys, let me know in comments below what do you think about this beekeeping. And of course, thumbs up if you want to see more beekeeping videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.